Hello everyone. In this uh, section, we will discuss uh, fever management in a primary care. Fever, fever is a very common symptom which presented in the OPD. Let's go step by step. Ki how will we diagnose a case of a fever? What is the etiology according to the symptoms and signs? Uh, which appropriate investigation should we do? And what is the management of fever? Starting with the uh, uh, this section, fever classification, symptoms and signs, appropriate investigations and treatment. Fever can be classified into three groups. That is acute fever, acute uh, febrile illness due to systemic uh, specific signs. That means ki it is a, a fever which is due to some localized uh, infections like throat infections, upper respiratory infections, lower respiratory infections, urine infections, intra-abdominal infections, skin or soft tissue or uh, maybe bo bone and joint infections. So it is uh, due to these localized or systemic specific uh, involvement. Now, acute undifferentiated febrile illness. Acute undifferentiated febrile illness means that there is no localized uh, sign. It is defined by a fever of more than 101 degree Fahrenheit for more than two days without any organ specific sign like patient will not complain of any sore throat cough or any loose motions burning sensation of urine so these signs or symptoms will not be present uh, the important causes in india are malaria dengue fever typhoid scrub typhus chikungunya or leptospirosis third is fever of unknown origin Fever of unknown origin means fever of more than 101 degree Fahrenheit on two occasions. Duration of the fever should be more than equal to three weeks. And there is no known immunocompromised state like no HIV. Patient is not taking any chronic immunosuppressive agents. Diagnosis remain uncertain after a thorough history taking, physical examination and obligatory investigations for the fever. These include infections, malignancy, rheumatic diseases and some of the miscellaneous causes. Coming to the symptoms. According to the symptoms, if it is the pattern of the fever, uh, pattern of the fever means ki it is a continuous fever. Meaning of a continuous fever is the fever fluctuates less than 1 degree Celsius in 24 hours and it does not touch the baseline. Uh, important causes are pneumonia, meningitis, typhoid, dengue, malignancy and drug induced fever. Second is the intermittent fever like fever is present for uh, some hours in a day and it touches the baseline. Important causes include malaria, tuberculosis, lymphoma and septicemia. Third fever is remittent fever. Remittent fever means ki daily fluctuation is more than 1 degree Celsius. Some textbooks says ki it is more than 2 degree Celsius and it does not touch the baseline. Important causes include infective endocarditis and rickets cell infections. Relapsing fever. Relapsing fever means ki the fever spikes are separated by a period of days to weeks in between. Uh, for example, palapstein fever. Fever will be there for 10, 3 to 10 days. Then a febrile period of 3 to 10 days again seen in Hodgkin's lymphoma. Or cyclic neutropenic uh, fever. Every 21 days cycle fever will be there. Double uh, quotation fever means ki there will be two spikes uh, in 24 hours period and this is uh, characteristic of gonococcal endocarditis and uh, importantly adult stills disease and the fever which is occurring at 48 hours interval will be due to uh, malaria plasmodium vivax or ovale and uh, fever occurring at 72 hours interval is classical of uh, p malaria but in malaria this pattern of the fever which is occurring at 48 hours or 72 hours these days they are not so commonly uh, seen symptoms according to the organ specific uh, uh, signs or fever uh, these include sore throat if patient complained of sore throat a patient comes to the opd so ask these uh, symptoms in sequence any history of sore throat pain in the throat any runny or blocked nose cough these are suggestive of upper respiratory tract infections if patient has cough along with that patient has sputum production dyspnea is there 
इंक्रीज रेस्पिरेटरी रेट विल बी देयर प्लूरिटिक चेस्ट पेन प्लूरिटिक चेस्ट पेन मीन्स की इफ पेशेंट टेक अ डीप ब्रेथ देर विल बी अ शार्प पेन फीवर चिल्स दीज आर ऑल सजेस्टिव ऑफ न्यूमोनिया दैट इज लोअर रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक इन्फेक्शन फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द यूरिन लाइक फ्रॉम द बेस लाइन फ्रीक्वेंसी पेशेंट हैज टू वेक अप इन द नाइट टू गो टू द यूरिन अर्जेंसी इज देयर पेशेंट इज अनेबल टू होल्ड और अर्जेंसी मीन्स की पेशेंट हैव हाई प्रेशर ऑफ द यूरिन डिसूरिया दैट इज पेन वाइल पासिंग द यूरिन और बर्निंग सेंसेशन वाइल पासिंग द यूरिन और देर विल बी अ फ्लैंक पेन एट द रीनल एंगल्स this is suggestive of urine tract infection so make a list of these symptom that these should be asked in a uh, opd pain abdomen loose stools uh, there is a bleeding per rectum patient has uh, increased urge for defecation but whenever patient uh, pass uh, stool there is blood in the stools so this is known as tenesmus blood in the stools or vomiting these are all suggestive of intra abdominal infections patient has red skin swelling in the skin pain or abscess or boil uh, sort of things so this is skin and soft tissue infection uh, pain and swelling in the joints it is a bone joint infection patient complaining of dyspnea palpitations there is history of rheumatic heart disease or any heart disease structured heart disease this is suggestive of endocarditis while headache neck pain vomiting along with the altered sensorium is suggestive of meningitis these are the important uh, infections which are due to localized uh, uh, systems coming to the acute undifferentiated fever means ki there is no organ specific symptom which patient presented with so we will look for high grade fever history intermittent fever with chills every 48 to 72 hours along with that rash will not be present so this is highly characteristic of malaria fever patient has continuous fever retro orbital pain will be there headache is there myalgia muscle pains are present and rash is present this combination of the uh, symptom is suggestive of uh, dengue fever and all, along with that bleeding tendency petechiae will be there upper gi bleed will be there so dengue hemorrhagic fever is a likely possibility patient has continuous fever headache loss of appetite loose stools this is typhoid fever and there is also a characteristic pattern in a typhoid fever that there is a step ladder pattern of the fever like one day fever will be 99 second day it will be 100 then 101 102 next day so like that fever will be present patient has continuous fever along with the arthralgia rashes are there chikungunya so mainly the arthralgia is more uh, severe symptom in chikungunya fever continuous fever along with red eyes abdominal pain and a transient rash patient also has jaundice hematuria oliuria or hemoptysis so these uh, these points are going in favor of jaundice hematuria oliuria hemoptysis leptospirosis fever along with headache myalgia non specific symptoms are there could be a possibility of scrub typhus coming to the fever of unknown origin fever of the unknown origin uh, etiology is usually came out to be like uh, infections malignancy rheumatic uh, uh, diseases patient has weight loss more than 1 kg per week early anorexia is there early in the course of the fever and patient has characteristically uh, post hot bath pruritus so this is suggestive of malignancy post hot bath pruritus is seen in blood malignancies especially patient has history of prior surgery uh, pet exposure is there so pet exposure is suggestive of brucellosis or q fever brucellosis and q fever are not uh, common fever in the opd so they come under the uh, fever of unknown origin blood transfusion is there patient might have hiv immunosuppressive drug intake tuberculosis or cytomegalovirus when multi system are affected so uh, suspect whipple disease and miliary tuberculosis so these are infections might be the cause of fever of unknown origin patient has joint involvement joint pains are there myalgia is present 
oral ulcers are present oral ulcers are suggestive of uh, uh, diseases like sle and characteristically chills are not present in rheumatic diseases miscellaneous causes if patient has a neck pain uh, thyroiditis can be a possibility drug history drug induced fever will be there and when there is a fever periodicity like 21 day cycle fever cyclic neutropenia will be kept in mind coming to the signs organ specific signs throat congestion and sinus tenderness so always in the opd check for the throat for any erythema or congestion and also touch for the uh, sinuses for any tenderness uh, this is suggestive of upper respiratory tract infections chest examination always do a chest examination if you find some bronchial breath sounds or any crepitations this is suggestive of consolidation that is pneumonia seen in lower respiratory tract infections check for the abdomen if there is any hepatomegaly and tenderness could be liver abscess renal or suprapubic tenderness seen in uh, urinary tract infections joint tenderness whenever there is a swelling or patient complaint of uh, joint pains check for joint tenderness seen in bone and joint infections like uh, the, uh, uh, infections uh, uh, heart murmurs oslo nodes are present rod spots are present this is suggestive of endocarditis so always uh, check for the skin for uh, any uh, oslo nodes touch for the fingertips for tenderness that can be oslo node genital lesion will be a uh, macular uh, macular lesions on the palms in the fundoscopy check for the oval spots that is rod spots in the eyes while neck rigidity is suggestive of meningitis neck rigidity with fever is uh, meningitis skin examination if you find some uh, redness erythema or any abscess which is showing fluctuation this is skin and soft tissue infections acute and differentiated feature, uh, fever related bradycardia that means ki pulse will not increase to that extent as the fever usually for every 1 degree fahrenheit increase in the fever pulse increases by 10 per minute but the pulse is not increasing by uh, that extent so this is a case of a related bradycardia acute and differentiated feature uh, very important cause is typhoid fever look for the rose spots even in indian patients uh, you can find a rose spot coated tongue will be there and coated tongue is uh, highly suggestive of typhoid fever uh, weak pulse petechiae tourniquet as positive is uh, dengue fever uh pallor and splenomegaly if present it is malaria uh, conjunctival congestions muscle tenderness lymph node or rash suspect leptospirosis along with the ictus when there is a scar or maculopapular rash or lymph adenopathy it is suggestive of scrub typhus fever of unknown origin morning temperature spike is highly suggestive of uh, whipple's disease to peaks per week of fever is seen in brucellosis relative bradycardia seen in brucellosis and q fever spinal tenderness will be osteomyelitis tuberculosis or brucellosis isolated hepatomegaly will be seen in q fever and brucellosis while infection of the testicular area brucellosis will be a possibility malignancy relative bradycardia if present it is seen in lymphoma hodgkins lymphoma sternal tenderness myeloproliferative disorders rod spots can be present in lymphoma isolated hepatomegaly seen in hepatoma hepatoma is one of the malignancy which present with fever in rheumatic diseases morning temperature spike is seen in polyarthritis nodosa double fever in a day is seen in adult still disease rod spot is seen in sle as well as polyarthritis nodosa then epididymitis seen in polyarthritis nodosa sarcoidosis or sle hepatomegaly without splenomegaly is not a feature of rheumatic disease now in the summary if we combine symptoms and signs and try to diagnose what is the etiology of fever if patient has a complaint of throat pain blocked nose or cough so this is my advice in the opd always Uh, ask the patient to give all the symptoms. Then you ask the uh, leading questions. So let the patient tell uh, history. 
check for the uh, pharynx, pharyngeal edema, sinus tenderness, so it is upper respiratory infections. Patient complained of cough, expectoration, pleurotic chest pain, and there is tachypnea, means respiratory rate is increased, bronchial breath sounds are there, crepitations are there, always suspect pneumonia. Increased frequency of urine with burning sensation of the urine or pain while passing the urine along with tenderness over renal area, urine tract infection. Pain abdomen, loose stools, blood in the stools, it is suggestive of intra-abdominal infections. Red skin, pain and boil along with cellulitis, tenderness, abscess, lymphadenopathy, regional lymphadenopathy, skin and soft tissue infections. Pain and swelling in the joint. Tenderness over the joint, bone and joint infection like osteomyelitis can, can be there. Dyspnea, palpitations, cardiac murmurs are present, osseous nodes are present, endocarditis, headache, neck pain, vomiting, neck rigidity, it is meningitis. These are the system specific fevers. Intermittent fever along with characteristic chills. Uh, pallor and splenomegaly are there. Pallor is due to uh, red, uh, red blood cell hemolysis, especially seen in falcipalum malaria uh, induced hemolysis. Malaria is the answer. Patient has retroorbital pain. Typically, patient has uh, headache and rash. Tourniquet test is positive. Petechiae are positive. Dengue fever. Headache, loss of appetite, loose stools, relative bradycardia, rose spot or coated tongue. These symptoms, loose stool, relative bradycardia and coated tongue are highly specific for typhoid fever in a, a resource-less uh, situation. Means where the resources are not available for the blood test. So you can rely on these uh, uh, features, clinical features. Red eyes, jaundice, hematuria, oliguria, hemoptysis. So whenever ictus is there along with the hemoptysis and renal failure, always suspect leptospirosis. Fever, headache and myalgia. Patient is sharp, that is maculopapular rash are present and lymphadenopathy. So patient has scrub typhus. So this is how clinically we should suspect the cause of different types of the fever. What will be the investigation? This we will discuss in our next video. If there is any recommendations or any questions, you can put under the comment section. Thank you.